Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. And for all those who have subscribed to my channel already, um, I have been pretty sick in the past days, so that's why I couldn't upload any videos. So um, I hope you're okay with that. And I'm back now, not totally back, but um, I'm trying my best with the first news coming here from Austin with the Note and Cathode being delivered to the battery cell production site in Austin. So this is really exciting news as we are seeing a lot of people in the site, a lot of people working on the battery cell production site here. Um, when Jeff Roberts and thanks to him for this footage is zooming in here, we do see how they are already installing walls and everything needed inside the battery cell production site. So this is really exciting news. Um, furthermore, I have come to, um, yeah, I, I have noticed that many people, especially in Europe, um, but also some from the States, are pretty much trying to find excuses um, where Tesla is doing mistakes. And one of those has been the most common one has been well, the factories are not as green as Tesla um, is really trying to market them because there's no solar roof on it. So I just wanted to give you an update for those that don't know that or haven't read it yet. Um, please check out the impact report of 2020 from Tesla. It's really in detail what they are planning to do in the future when it comes to solar panels as well on their own factories. So we can expect a lot of solar panels on the Austin factory, but we can also expect that by 2022, um, the entire building of Nevada will be full with um, solar panels. They will do that till the end of 2022. And of course, the entire building is not done yet. Furthermore, in Austin, as we are looking into the battery cell production, as I mentioned, um, we have to consider that this entire site um, is going to produce more batteries, more um, gigawatt hours of batteries than ne the Nevada site. This is just insane if you think about the um, size and the amount of batteries we will get from Austin. And the same thing is going to happen not only in Austin, but we will soon see a small material arrive in Grünheide. Um, for this case, we do have a separate um, building. As you know, we do have a separate building for the battery cell production that will be um, ready hopefully soon um, or that ready that we can see uh, material moving inside here. So um, this is one thing. The next point I would like to talk about with you is that we have to move to London. In London, we actually have now Uber. Um, we do have a total of 45,000 cars um, in London driving around and um, Uber is trying to um, go the green way now as well. This has nothing to do with Hertz. It is just that there's like a um, collaboration that Uber drivers can now get cars from Tesla. Um, furthermore, Tesla is also offering um, home charges um, for all cars. And this is a new business. It's a new business development here that they are now offering home charges that are capable of doing it for all cars. And this is something um, I do really appreciate from Tesla, that Tesla is not going the Apple way because we do know what's can, what can happen in the long term when a company decides to just um, yeah, disconnect itself from all the other um, customers. It is not playing out in the long term. That is my personal opinion, but she's, please let me know down below what you think. Furthermore, we do have adapters. So we um, have the opening of the superchargers in the Netherlands. And at some point they will happen as well in the US. And for that, Tesla is trying to build a new adapter. So all the other car companies um, or other car owners are able to use the EV chargers, the superchargers of Tesla. Um, please let me know what you think, if there will be any challenges, if you think that's the right decision. But based on the decision to open the charges in the Netherlands, I think it is clear that Tesla is on its way to open the entire system. 
as we are looking into China for all those from Europe, um, and we have experienced a lot of up and down when it comes to price changes. In the beginning of the year, the Model 3, as it is called right now, which was the Model 3 standard range, they changed the name. The standard range is now only called the Model 3. Um, it was actually decreased the price by 3000 euros. Now we are back up after all the price increases at the same point. Now the interesting part for European customers and for example for German customers is that Tesla has not that much room to further increase the prices because they are not going to be part of the subsidies if they further increase the Model 3 price. Um, this price increase comes now after, right, uh, right after the new battery cell that is coming in. So the LFP batteries at a bigger size, not anymore 55 kilowatt. Now we have 60 kilowatt. Um, furthermore, the room to not get into um, to not get out of subsidies is just 800 euros. So there's not much uh, space anymore to move upwards for Tesla in this case. Um, depending if they want to get out of the subsidies, but that would make no sense at all. Furthermore, when we look at <clears throat> sorry, the battery cell production in Germany, we do see that they get pretty much um, very well, well along. I think the price increases in Germany um, will not really stop the demand. And I think we are really going to have to push the pace here for the battery cell production. <clears throat> and furthermore, what you shouldn't forget is um, that there are a lot of people waiting for the Model Y. And some people are just waiting for it because they don't want to buy Chinese products. This is a big thing here as well. And furthermore, um, we also have the, um, yeah, the big thing um, about people just um, waiting for the final permission. <clears throat> for those who don't know that, there's the final hearing happening right now. So we do have um, the final hearing that will happen in the next uh, two weeks. And after this final hearing, we can hopefully finally see um, some sort of um, update what is coming to the final permission. And this is now a long wait. It is a long game that we have been working on and it has been really frustrating. And I must honestly say as a German, I'm very, very happy when this entire process will be done. So I want to thank you for your support. And yes, I have not um, uploaded videos in recent days, but I hope you come back here and you watch my videos and I would really appreciate your support. And um, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.